Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you are having an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed the, um, my, um, galaxy pour, my first one. I was overly excited about how it turned out. Hope you liked it. Hope you give it a try because it was kind of easy. So that was kind of fun. So now today I am going to do another sun catcher. Sorry, I got one glove on because I'm getting ready to mix my resin. So today I'm going to do another, like I said, sun catcher, like the um, blue one. I'll link it in the description box. Um, we're getting all ready for our trailer. Um, today is, for me, today is Tuesday. We are officially going there Monday. So I thought I'd make one for the trailer. Now with um, it being resin, you shouldn't put it directly in the sun. Obviously, you're not going to leave it hanging out in the sun in a tree. That wouldn't be good. Put it in your window. My daughter's had her, um, the feather one I made. I'll link it in the description box. She's had it in her window for however long I made it. So it's fine. As long as it's not, like I said, in the direct sunlight all the time. So we are going to get into this. My trailer has red accents. So I got red cushions. I got a red umbrella. So we're going to do it red today. So I'm going to bring it down. I'm going to go through my stuff before I mix up the resin. And then that way I don't have a problem with my, um, with it curing too fast. So I'm going to bring it down. We're going to play today. I am mixing up my own little glitter from Laura's stash. And I'm excited. So we're using this nice um, mold that I've been using. I have these from when I used to make jewelry. Like this is funny because, you know, I made a, a little ring <laughs> with the butterfly, with the even though it's a ladybug. So I have three smaller ones. So I thought we could put them in 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 the flower somehow. Um, I'm going to mix up my own little contraption of, actually I'll leave them in there, of um, glitters. And we'll do that right now. I have Mirror Mirror, my most amazing. <laughs> this, is, this is like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So I got Mirror Mirror. I have, because I want it to be red. And there's no red alcohol ink. So I was kind of disappointed I didn't have a red one. I'm going to mix that. I'm going to mix some of this sparkling red wine. And to throw a little bit of the fine, I know, Laura, sorry, this isn't from you, but this is Recollections and this one is Garnet. And I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. That's going to be my glitter around the edge. We'll throw the little buggies in there and then I will do the, um, the flower. So we are going to play. And remember, when you get these glitters from Laura, if it is, if it is a, like this has got like, probably three or four different um, shapes and sizes of glitter. Give it a good stir so you get all that in there. So me being me, I'm going to use one big heaping spoonful of Mirror Mirror. I'm going to use, and again, this one is the same. It's got a little bit of a texture. I'm going to do a half of a teaspoon of that even though it's not an actual teaspoon and then we're going to put in some of this fine glitter I just like it because it's that deep that nice deep red we're going to put that in there let's mix it up and see what we got might not be nice. I might add some more of the white. We got enough of the red, so I'm going to close up my little reds. So again, that one was sparkling red wine. And this one was garnet from Recollections. And I'm going to get back into my, I'm not going to use the same spoon because I do not want to put red inside of this. And we're going to do one more full spoon of this. Keeping like that. Cause you know, we have to have it so it's pretty. Actually, and I'll, yeah, I'll put that one back in here. So I always have one ready to go because you know, when it comes to glitter, we have to be ready, my friends. Perfect. Perfect. 
There, that's better. There was more of a ratio. I like that better. All right, so we're going to make my contraption and we're going to set that on the side. We are going to use, this is um, from, <laughs> if you can read it, it's from Let's Resin. It is Angel White. That's what I use to make the bloom of the flower. I am using, let me give it a shake. This one is from Jaguar. It is a Jaguar Ranger, and it is um, sub sub lime. So it's a green pearl. I'm going to use this yellow, which I thought would be pretty with the red. Um, this one is from Pinata, and it is called drum roll, please, Sunshine Yellow. And then we're going to do silver. Let me know if there is a red out there. I have a coral and I have the orange, but I, uh, I just didn't want it to clash with the actual red glitter. So let me know if you guys know if there's a red one, because I know red's a hard color. And this one is from Pinata and it is called Pearl. So it's like a, a white pearl. So we're going to, those will be my three woohoo drop colors and I'll mix that up and I'll be right back. I'm going to put you on pause, mix up my resin, which resin of choice as always is crystal resin. Link will be in the description box. So I'm going to mix it up. I measured this mold out and oh my goodness, it takes eight ounces. Craziness. So I'm going to mix up my eight ounces and I'll be right back when I'm all mixed up. See you in a minute, guys. Hello, I am back. I am all mixed up and I forgot to mention as I'm mixing, I do use my respirator. Please, please use your PPE guys when you are using resin because I don't want you guys to get sick. So with that, I am going to put a little bit of resin in this in my glitter mix and I'm going to remove my little butterfly even oh, why do I keep wanting to call them butterflies my little um ladybugs I am going to pour I think that much should be enough because I'm only going around the edge and I'm going to give it a stick stir need a couple sticks anyways and let me grab them and here we go. We're just going to mix up that glitters. I was going to change the cup, but I thought, why waste another one? Oh, that's going to be pretty. I might need to put a little more resin in there. stir there that's a little better for me anyway that's gonna be pretty my Canadian girls coming out red and white there we go alrighty I'm just gonna put this around the edge let me pour this is what I'm going to use. That should be, well, that's more than enough. We'll figure out this stuff is just for my white. I wanted to get this in here first. Oh, oh my goodness. I don't want to make a, a mess of it. All right, let's just go for it. Oh, there we go. Okay. And I get pushed back in with this white, this clear. That's why I was, there we go. All 
And I'm gonna put it all in there. Awesome. All right, it's gonna be pretty. What do you think, guys? It's so nice out here in Canada. Oh, I've been excited to get to the trailer. The day before I had my surgery, I went and I did all the trailer. <laughs> There's always stuff to do with the trailer. I'm going to get my little torch because I do not want... This is so lopsided. Let me see if I can kind of even this out a little bit on this side. Get the rest of all of that glitter. Perfect. All right, that's garbage. Little torch. Just to get the bubbles out. You want to make sure you do not go anywhere near the edging because you don't want your mold to um, go all funky on you. So now I'm just going to that glitter kind of there perfect now I'm going to oh no I just put resin on my glasses I have to fix that because we can't have resin on my glasses give me one second my friends especially not on the lens I don't care if I'm blurry, but there we go. There we go. All right, so let's put these guys in. We will put one there. We'll put one here. Oh, we can't just have two. We have to have three. Let me get make sure they're in there. Cover them up. There we go. Do I do one in the middle? Oh, I never know what to do at the middle. Ah, poop. We'll have a family of three. Sitting right on the edge. Maybe this could be the top or the side, whichever. I'll make sure they're covered. They're coming in. There we go. All right. With that said, we're going to get our um, Let's Resin. We're going to get this. Oh, I wasn't thinking. Oh, I can't open it. <sighs> There we go, guys. I am the worst for not listening to what I'm being told to do. Give it a stir. It's always cold in my basement. And I'm scraping off, so there's not a whole lot on there, guys. And that's going in. And then I'm going to put my alcohol ink in while this is sitting there. So I think we're going to do green in the middle, our silver or pearl next, and then yellow on the outside because I think the yellow will be nice because it's more transparent than that green, I think. There you go. So that's pretty, pretty good. And I'm going to use this tool to put it in. I like the effect. You can put it in a piping bag, guys. More power to you. Julie, let's give it a test. I'm at 32, so by the time I get my colors in here, we should be good. All right. Oh my goodness. 
All right, here we go. Let me actually, you know what? I'm just going to take all the lids off so I'm not complaining in between. All right. Whew. Some things hurt and some things don't to do. All right, so that's the yellow, that's the green, that's the white. All right. Here we go. There we go, white. Even though this is the white. Make sure it's even. And then the yellow. Maybe a drop or two more of the green. And then I'm going to put the lids on these and I'm going to, oh my goodness, look at the yellow it took right over, but that's okay. That's all right. I wanted a little clear on the edge, but par for Sherry. Let's just do a little twisty. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of yellow. <laughs> <laughs> oh well live and learn live and learn all right here we go guys we're gonna do this one more time 33 might not have to wait a few more minutes i can't believe i put that much yellow oh well it is what it is what it is what it is right guys <laughs> way it's weird that it keeps almost like shifting I'm just killing time for a minute to get that see my thing is level but then when I put this more so this one when I put it on Tends to kind of go in one direction. All right. We'll do one more test and then I'm just going to go for it. Let's see what we're at. Oh, we're at 34. You know what? I'm just going to go for it. I've already goofed it up with the all of that uh, yellow in there. So, And I'm not going to worry about cleaning it off in the middle. We're just going to go for it. Dipping it in and coming on it. It's kind of hard to see where you leave off sometimes. I'm just going to go to the edge of the glitter. I don't want to go too far into the glitter. Maybe one here. And I'm just going to try and where there's blobs, kind of bring them out. And 
then I'm gonna go to the center and do a swirl. I hope this turns out. <laughs> Maybe I'll come in and do a different, another one here. I've never come back in and did a second row, so we're going to play today. Maybe it'll be a whole bunch of mess. this down. I'm going to do just a little like that. All right, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to give it a, another little wee torch with this little guy. And I hope it works. <laughs> so with that, I'll see you guys once it is all cured up. I'm going to pour this. You know what? What have I got in here? I got a little bear. I'm going to pour some of this yellow in here. And I'm going to fill up the bear. He's got green. He's got a little bit of glitter in there. And let's, ah, let's squirt some yellow. And then that way I'm not wasting my resin. Always have a bunch of little things kicking around that you can throw your leftovers in. See, nice creamy yellow. And hopefully it'll fill up the rest of the sky. Perfect, I think it's just gonna work. And maybe we can reveal both. I'll try and get all of it out so I can fill up his little bum. Perfect. All right, guys. So I'm going to let this cure. I'll see you tomorrow. It's blooming, so that's good. I just hope it doesn't turn out to be a mess. All right. See you in a bit, guys. Hello, we are back. I'm going to unveil this. I am so excited. I hope it turns out. There we go, guys. Oh my goodness, look at that flower. That is amazing. I love the little ladybugs. That turned out so amazingly cute. Oh, sorry, I have my Band-Aid off. I'm gonna go put it on when I'm done here because I'm gonna go and get someone to help me put my little eye hooks in here. If you watched my other one, you've seen how difficult <laughs> I had a hard time. So I'm going to, cause my hand is still a little sore. So I'm going to go and get someone else to help me put them in. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to put our crystals on. So I'm going to go wash these crystals too. So I have this little, I don't know, I may do it myself. But I have this little tool for my Dremel tool. All I need is just to start the little hook. And these are just called um, screw eyes. And I bought two sizes because the last ones I bought, they were the only ones they had in the store. So I purchased them, purchased them and they were a little bigger for what I wanted. So this one is just a little wee guy. I will give you the proper dimensions in the description box. This one is, I don't know, number 24, half. I'm assuming it's a half inch and the thickness of it is a 5 8. That's what I'm, I'm assuming. And then the other one is a little bit smaller. This one is a 11 32s or 17 32s. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go put these on go wash these and I'm going to put a bandaid on my hand and I'll be right back guys. I'll see you in just a minute. I think this is pretty. Hello, 
I am back. I have successfully put these in and I did it on my own and I feel bad because I didn't turn the camera on. I've got an eye hook in here and an eye hook in here. So these will be done again and I will show you what I did, but I'll tell you what I did. I took my Dremel tool and in I'm going to show you in this big kit that I have there was a little bit of a, a drill attachment which is this one I don't even see it so it looks just like a screw actually to be honest so what I did is I marked it with a marker I turned it's not plugged in I turned it on just enough to start the hole because that's where I got into my problem with the blue one. Then what I did is I stood it up in between my rack like this and I took the heat gun to where the hole was. I'd left it on there for not even, I don't know, I'm going to say maybe 30 seconds or so. And it was just enough to heat it up that I was able to start. That was the only problem I had when I did the other one. So that's what I did. And I promise you, just because of my hand being so sore, I didn't want to get in and not have it do it right and waste all your time. So there you go. So that's the two eye hooks are in. My crystals are all washed. And I'm going to put the shorter one on the bottom. I want these little guys to be on the bottom. And these are like a these are called split jump ring. If I can get my hand, my finger in there. There we go. It's a split jump ring. So what you do is you split it and then put it on here. Just my sometimes it takes a bit of talent, my friends, to get it split apart. Get in there. And like that. And that's it. Turn it around so they're both split. And there's the one piece. I left the longer piece for the top. Oops, a doozy. Now these I got on Amazon. Um, I got them a long, long time ago. And then same thing. We're going to do the split ring here. And... Sometimes you can get it with just pushing on the... There we go. Perfect. And there we are. I'm excited. So I will take this outside and show it to you. Hopefully I can get a nice picture out there. I love how this flower turned out. And again, I'll show you what I did. These, I was deconstructing my chandelier that I had made for my prop for my sails. I can't find the bag that has all these in it, so I was taking them apart. But I will link it because you do buy them on Amazon. And you can also buy these on Amazon. So with that, I'm going to do a little bit of a a spiel here. I probably should have done it in the beginning of the video. Um, summer coming. I'm going to attempt to do, we're going to try to do a little more of a structured, um, I'm going to try to do it. I, hopefully I can do it, make it work. Um, a structured videos. So um, normally in my brain I was trying to do paint video Monday, resin video Friday, glass glitter bling on Sundays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to keep some of it the same, but when I'm at my trailer, I'm going to bring little things to do. So in the summer, you will be getting some repurposing videos, how to, um, you know, make a chandelier out of, you know, how to do that with put your um, outside lights on there, your solar lights to make it an actual chandelier you can use outside. Um, I've got a whole bunch of other things that I was wanting to make and I thought I'd just do them at the, at the trailer. And also, um, 
I've got all these little molds. I have my UV resin and we might be doing some little jewelry things at the trailer as well. So that's going to come up. So with that being said, my amazing people, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I apologize for it not being a true bling bling, but you got your glitters in here. You got your crystals. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you um, have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. And with that, I have the links to everything I used here today. Also in the description box, I have the links to where to purchase Fundy Molds with a discount code. I also have the links to where to purchase TriArt Liquid Glass. I have the links to where to purchase Crystal Resin, which we used here today. I also have the links to Let's Resin with a discount code, Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. And I also have my two amazing Lares distributors, um, Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada, my Canadian Lares distributor. Um, go check out her website. She's got multiple things, not just um, Lares. So go check her out. My discount code for Michelle is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And last but not least, the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my American Lares distributor, my glitter guru. Um, go check her website out. She has many more things as well as then the um, Lares and glitters. Um, go check her out. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And with that being said, I have my PayPal link if you choose to donate. And yeah, I'm going to love you, leave you. I'm going to go outside and gonna take some amazing pictures of this. I hope it turns out. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye. There you go, guys. Hopefully you can see it. I'm going to try and come in closer. But look at all that glitter. Amazing. It is so gorgeous here today. Anyways, there you go. I'll see you in the next one. Love you guys. Bye.